This video will show you how to connect the electrical components of the AD series mortise lock. If you are installing an AD300, ensure that power is turned off before proceeding with any connections. These are the tools you will need for the electrical hookup. With the inside top cover removed, locate the ribbon cable. Insert the ribbon cable connector into the terminal block just below the push button, making sure the red wire is on the left. Locate the white door position switch wires, trim them and strip the ends. Insert them into the black DPS terminal block on the left of the conduit hole and tighten the terminal block screws. Polarity is not important. If you have a mortise deadbolt chassis, plug the mortise deadbolt switch connector into the terminal to the left of the DPS terminal. In this case, we will be using a keypad reader. Seat the new reader into the outside assembly, ensuring the electrical connection is aligned and the gasketing is in the groove. Install the reader mounting screws from the inside assembly. Be careful not to over tighten. Remove the mylar strip from the coin cell battery. This step is for the AD300 hardwired separately. Locate the two power wires coming from the conduit hole. Strip and connect them to the power aux terminal. Make sure that the polarity of the wires is correct. The positive terminal is above the negative terminal. This step is only for the AD300. Remove the RS-45 communication board from its packaging and insert the connector into the terminal block on the top of the main circuit board. Snap the top part of the board over the two nylon posts. Secure the board with the captive screw. Referring to the owner's manual, strip and connect the RS-45 cable to the communication board. Install the bottom cover on the inside assembly. This step is only for the AD400. Clean the surface above the inside assembly. Peel the white backing from the foil gasket and stick it above the assembly following the contours of the lock. Remove the wireless communication board from its packaging and insert the connector into the terminal block on the top of the main board. Snap the top part of the board over the two nylon posts and the two bottom holes will align with the metal posts for stability. This step is only for battery-powered locks. Both the 4 and 8 battery units install in a similar way. Install the batteries into the pack and insert the pack into the bottom part of the inside assembly with the connector at the top. Attach the battery strap using the two screws provided. Plug the battery pack connector into the lock connector. The inside LED will flash, indicating that the lock has power. Slide the bottom cover into place and secure with the screw. Install the top cover. The lock is now ready to be initialized and configured. Consult your user guide for more details.